<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Lair of Diabolos Turbo, which is pretty much just my take on a Lair of Darkness deck. Not sure if you remember this card. Came out in a structured deck a couple months back. And I don't think since Amorph Ages we've had a deck that seemed so broken that didn't actually do anything. Uh, not really competitively viable, hasn't topped anywhere. Uh, it's just weird because it has such really good potential, lets you tribute your opponent's monsters, but just a bit too combo heavy. So I had a little poll on Patreon asking people what I should do, and people wanted to see a Lair of Darkness deck, so this is my take on it. It, it's not the best version by any means. I'm not playing a Card of Demise, which is probably really good in this deck, but I have too many decks that are just Card of Demise, set 5, pass. So I thought I'd try, try to make things a little bit more spicy. We're playing things like Jura Ghetto, Eater of Millions. We're playing a couple cards that I, I think people underestimate how good they are in this deck. Uh, at least I've been having a lot of success with them. But anyway, if you just want the deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate shorter video. There I'll go over everything in here, explain why I chose the cards I did. In this video, I'm going to be playing 10 random duels against opponents on YGO Pro. We'll be testing this out, showing you how it works, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. First duel versus Ghost Pepper. Pretty spicy. <laughs> That's probably what he's going for. Are we going first? We are going first, which is good, because this is a go-first kind of deck. Although, not really the best hand for it. We've got Lair, which is always good, but we've got nothing to tribute our opponent's cards with, which is not so good. But we do still have a couple plays, assuming this doesn't get uh, Ash Blossomed, which it could be. Nope. Okay, so we're going to send Darkest Diabolos to the graveyard. This guy, when uh, when you tribute a monster on your side of the field, I think it's specifically, when a dark monster you control is tributed, you can special summon this from your graveyard or hand. So we've got, we're playing almost, I think we're playing exclusively dark monsters. I didn't really check, but I'm pretty sure we're playing only dark monsters. Op, oh, looks like he's got those mech knights. So fortunately, we've got a couple Jura Ghettos in our hand, and these are actually going to allow us to get Darkest Diabolos out of the graveyard. We've got, uh, you could special summon it during either player's battle phase, and then you can tribute this card to give a monster you control a thousand attack. So when it tributes itself, then Darkest Diabolos will come out. And this is a big 3,000 that can't be tributed or targeted by your opponent. Oh, pardon me, big burp. Big guitar noise over that. But yeah, 3,000 attack can't be tributed or targeted, which makes it a, a fairly good boss monster. A lot of people have a lot of trouble dealing with something like this, uh, because pretty much the only way to get rid of it is something like Utopia the Lightning, Raigeki, Mirror Force, something like big non-targeting destruction. And even when you do get rid of it, like, I have another Jura Ghetto, it, it could just come back. I could just summon another one. And then it also has an additional uh, effect that you can tribute a, a dark monster and uh, make your opponent choose one card in their hand and put it on the top or bottom of their deck. Which is a nice little resource game. So I summon this out. And then he's going to attack that. And then Jurigetto is going to do his thing. He's going to be like, nope, I give that a thousand. And then he'll be like, whoa, hey, did someone tribute something? I think someone tributed something. I'm just going to pop out right over here, because there's already a line here. I don't want to give him more things to summon stuff. Plus, now I can destroy this by battle. If you're unfamiliar with the Mech Knights, this guy says you can only destroy monsters by battle in the same column. Plus, he might try to use this... Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Good, good. And we've got Waking the Dragon. Not so good, necessarily. Uh, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and activate our Layer of Darkness now. Hello? He can't destroy that, or he can't do Mech Knight shenanigans with it, because it's not in a column. So what we're going to do is we're going to tribute that, because Layer of Darkness allows us once per turn, during either player's turn, we can tribute one of our opponent's monsters as if we controlled it. 
Um, sadly, he's got Reckless Greed, or not Reckless Greed, he's got Ghost Ogre, so that's non-targeting destruction. That's gonna get rid of that, but he still has to put a card from his hand either on top or bottom of his deck, so he'll be down a little bit in resources. Put it on the bottom. Uh, I'll still do the 2400. Oh, actually, uh, yeah. Guess what? I have another Jurigetto. I think I mentioned that before. And does that attack go through? Uh, it's except during damage calculation. So you don't want to do it during damage calculation, unfortunately. There are some things you can do to, to do stuff. There are some neat little tricks you can do with Jurigetto that allow you to, like, OTK your opponent or at least do massive amounts of damage by sort of activating hit like attack and then tribute him to give a thousand attack and then summon out this to get another three thousand attack hopefully you'll see that later in the duel but either way we've got that we'll set and then another thing about layer of darkness that's kind of neat during the end phase whoever's turn it was they get to summon dark tokens equal to the number of monsters tributed that turn and i believe we had at least two doesn't matter whose monsters were tributed it's during what turn so it's a little bit of balancing. If I, I can tribute his monsters now, if I had any traps or anything that let me tribute. Um, but he would get a token at the end phase, so he wouldn't be completely with, completely defenseless. So there, there's sort of like a little bit of, uh, if you can, there's a little incentive to wait till your turn, tribute their monsters during your turn. So at the end phase, you get these tokens. And of course, we've got some links and stuff. So... You'll know. We can do. We can. We can make a couple things. He's going after Armageddon Knight, which is kind of weird. I think I would have gone for the tokens. I guess he has the most attack. Uh, Jurigetto lasts for uh, the entire like next turn, but like when it came back to my turn, his attack would be down to fourteen hundred again. So, not doing anything really. Oh, he's hitting another one. All right, so I can't tribute his monsters anymore. A sad state of affairs. At least for the moment. Let's go to attack. Let's go to attack. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and be a little reckless right now. Because not only will that stop him from uh, having... He won't have things in the way. Okay, he's going to take 5,000? At least. Alright, maybe a little more. Let me think about this. I've got access to all sorts of things. Um, not really worried about spell traps. This would be neat, but not too neat. 2600 is probably more than he's going to do. Although at the same time, it is half my life points. Um, you know, let's play it safe for now. Let's play it safe. We're going to do a safe thing. And also, we're going to play around the fact that he's got this. I think that might be slightly less damage overall, but it gives me more recovery options. I can get one of my Jurigettos back if he destroys this. And then we're just going to set this over here. And set that over there. So we got something in every column, but the only stuff he can definitely summon into is here. Um, look at all cards your opponent draws. Okay, so that... Plus he's light, so this will actually lower his attack even more. Hey there, Mr. Blue. What you think I do to you? It's a good song. Comment in the comments if you like that song. Good old uh, Electric Light Orchestra, I believe. EOL, as they're commonly called. That has nothing to do with Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't have to just talk about Yu-Gi-Oh if I don't want to. Oh. He's gonna take it. Um. Destroyed by battle or card effect. He's not gonna destroy it, he's gonna like link summon it. Um. So, I might as well, you know? It doesn't have 2,000 or more. Um. Yeah, let's just stop him from having more link material. If he wants to get stuff, he'll have to get it the hard way. And what this does, this is actually 
probably the worst card in the deck. But uh, a lot of this deck, a lot of my philosophy around the deck building in this deck is to make cards that are always active with Lair of Darkness. Because Lair of Darkness allows you to tribute your opponent's monsters. They're treated as dark monsters. The, the thing about them is, uh, there, there's a lot of cards that let you tribute your opponent's monster if they have a certain amount of attack, or if there's a certain number of cards on the field or something. This just lets you tribute any, any monster as long as it has 3,000 or less attack. So it's always live. And what it does is your opponent destroys cards from their hand or deck for every 500 attack of uh, monsters they have. And then if they you do 2,000 or more, every monster that they summon for the next... What is it? Three turns? Or every monster that they draw for the next three turns, they just have to, they just have to discard. Which can actually be pretty brutal in a deck like Mech Knights, where it's reliant so heavily on their monsters. Although in this case, I believe I... Did I... I'm not sure if I allowed him to send a... Uh, Alistair back to his hand, or to his graveyard. The thing is, so, it, allowing your opponent to send stuff to the graveyard, bad move. However, during the turn that they do that, they can't activate their effects. So, if he did send that Alistair with Grinning Grave, and he attacks with Mechaba and tries to discard Alistair, it won't work. He can't activate Mechaba, or Alistair's effect that same turn. Assuming it was sent with Grinning Grave. So it's not completely terrible if you send a bunch of Burning Abyss or a bunch of Dark Worlds or something, they won't get their effects the turn they're sent to the grave. Ah, just going for Boral Sword, I see. Although, again, he can't target me, so he's just going to have to crash into it. Which, I mean, if you want to do that, you can do that. Oh, does it get an effect when it... Okay, I'm not familiar with Boral Sword. Excuse me. I thought I had to target a monster. Um, your opponent cannot activate once per turn when it declares an attack. Okay, gotcha. Mistakes were made. Big mistakes. But at least he got to get, he had to get rid of his Mechava. Although I was really hoping he would attack and then realize his mistake. That would be nice. Uh, and I was a little too reckless. So, yep, unfortunately, I think this may be the end, because he can attack twice with Boral Sword. My only real hope is that he, uh, he destroys Waking the Dragon. This is a nice little, like, spicy tech that has to do with Lilith. I can explain it later. Um, not something I created. I actually heard this from someone else's video. I forget who, though. And honestly, I put I put Waking the Dragon in here. It didn't work, but all the patrons were like, you gotta have Waking the Dragon, because if it does get activated, who boy will it be epic. Which, I mean, yeah, it will be epic if it gets activated, but every time I've had it in, in practicing, every single time I've died with Waking the Dragon sitting on the field, not being destroyed. They are not afraid of my traps. They have nothing to fear, but fear itself. Also, couldn't this guy have done the thing and attacked twice? Couldn't he have shifted this? Oh, can he still do that? I think it's... Oh, no, it's not too late. Okay. I thought he had to do that before he declared his first attack. So, yeah, we do some cool things. We get a loss, sadly. Perhaps I should have been a little bit more aggressive... Uh, made a rank 7 or level 7 synchro or something. I don't know, I thought we had him on the ropes. I thought he was playing pure mech knights. I didn't know he had the invoked engine in there. And sadly, we got our, our grinning graves, which are not, not particularly great. But it's fine, it's fine. I don't expect this deck to do supremely well. It hasn't done very well in, um, in, in like the meta scene or anything like that. Uh, hopefully we can get at least 50%. 50%? If not, at least we got some cool sleeves. Yeah, let's go on to the next duel. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are, second duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, The Gemini God. Nice guy from Canada. I think he's watched every episode of everything I've ever made, which is cool. Um, and we're against the thriller, thriller night. Probably playing zombies. I will be disappointed if not playing zombies. Uh, okay, so we're going to start out 
sort of the same thing we did before. We're gonna see if we can send our Diabolus. He's gonna be like, nah, dog, I ain't going out of that. I'm not sure if you saw that. I'll, I'll probably make note of the thing again. Either way, now we can search our lair. Now we can establish the lair. Yo, what's up? Let's go ahead. We're gonna activate our Destrudo. Half our life points, a steep cost. But possibly worth it. If he is playing 60 card zombies, um, then Black Rose Moonlight will actually be the most effective against him. So I'm going to assume that, so that if he tries to Synchro Summon, we can send it back to his hand. Let's hope that that is the case. If not, we've got Grinning Grave. We could destroy whatever he does and make him a sad boy. Although, against against zombies, sending a bunch of stuff to the grave is probably the worst you could do. Oh yeah, that's zombies. Because he's going to send a bunch of Mizukis, and they don't have to activate that turn. He can just activate them next turn. He can just do a ding-dang fiddle-faddle. Why you summon Ghost Dash? That's a weird thing to summon. What now? Black Rose. Oh yeah, it just goes back. Oh. Well then. Yeah, and given that he has zombies and that I can't keep stuff out of his hand, I just want to let that happen, unfortunately. I could have stopped that by tributing his thing, but he still has a normal summon, yeah. And see, that's the- fortunately, this deck does have side deck options that would help better uh, against zombies. You can easily replace Grinning Grave with other stuff. Uh, against someone like Goki's Grinning Grave can actually be pretty good, because they'll send a bunch of stuff to the graveyard that can't activate its effects. And then from there, it's just kind of useless in the graveyard, and I guess unless they have a Goki rematch. Uh, and again, if you tribute something with more than 2,000, then every card, they, every monster they draw just instantly gets discarded with no effect. So it can be really useful. Same thing against sort of like Sky Strikers, you're just tossing their rays into the graveyard, or Trick Stars, they're tossing their monsters into the graveyard, which don't really get any kind of effects at that point. But with zombies, yeah, putting a bunch of zombies into the graveyard is really bad. Uh, fortunately, we do have some other ones, and again, against zombies. Although, that, that, the zombies in general kind of pose a difficult thing for this deck, because one of the other cards that you uh, that you can replace Grinning Grave Virus with is a card called Dark Light. It's like, tribute a monster with 1,500 or more, destroy all monsters that were special summoned this turn. And so, like, the, the problem I had with something like that was that, uh, like, I'd end... Fucking waking the dragon. My only hope is that he destroys it, otherwise it's just a dead card. But yeah, I'd, get, I'd run into the problem where, like, I'd set Dark Light, I have Lair of Darkness, and then he summons, like, Unizombie, and then summons something else with, like, less than 1500 attack. I can't, I can't think of what, uh, the, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, where's the Shiranui guy? Solitaire. Like, summon Solitaire and then make, like, a Psyframe Lord Omega. And it's like, well, everything that he summoned either has less than 1,500 attack, so I can't tribute it, or he only has one monster on the field, and since there's nothing to destroy, I can't actually do anything. You have to ha He has to have monsters that were special summoned that turn in order to activate it. So there are some other decks, like, uh, like Burning Abyss, where that can be really useful. But against zombies, not so much necessarily. They're just difficult because you tribute their monsters into the graveyard, and they're like, well, I don't care about that. Yep, and once again, Waking the Dragon has become Brick. He's not going... Oh, has he gone to destroy it? Does he have the means to destroy it? I thought if this was banished, it would do a thing. Please destroy this. Be afraid. I love Mirror Force. It's so bad. <laughs> that probably won't do anything. <laughs> That's the old hard leg tactics, where I just try to, like, mind games them in pretty much the worst way possible. Boral Synchral Dragon. Oh, 
Move one Boral counter, negate that activation. Okay. So he has nothing to fear. He is negations. He has nothing to fear from uh from this. Now he's just doing extra stuff. He could have summoned this and ended ended here. Pretty sure. Let me read that again. Yeah, when it activates a card or effect, Mirror Force got better though with Lynx. Yeah, that's what I said. I love Mirror Force. I meant it so bad in like a good way. You know, no defense. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I love it. It's so good. It's bad in like a cool bad boy sunglasses way. You know? I put Bayboy. <laughs> it's cool like Beyblades. Like Beyblades. You know. Let it rip. Etc. Etc. We've all been there. Tops. Spinning around. Doing shenanigans. Also, best phase of your opponent made a bunch of big monsters, and nope, I have Mirror Force. Yep. Pity your monster can negate. Damn it. Damn it. I was hoping maybe I could stall him out and he'd run out of time. Uh, <laughs> the best win. The best kind of win. When you just stall your opponent with random shenanigans into time. Alright, so we, we don't win this one, but again, Zombies, not the best deck. Plus, he's playing cards that were literally, like, just announced in Japan. Not exactly a fair fight. Not that most fights are fair. Either way, we'll go into the third duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, the third duel versus Hades. That's nice, because I am Diabolos, which is not, not very clever, other than the fact that you may not know that this spells Diabolos in some language. Um, we're going to go ahead and Armageddon Knight, and we're going to try to send our thing, and it's going to get, uh, uh hello darkness, my, it's fine, we have Darkest Diablo still, and we've got stuff we can do, we can do things, guys, and stuff, you best believe, this still activates in your hand, as long as you tribute a monster on your side of the field, and I've got upwards of two cards that tribute stuff on my side of the field. All right. Uh, let's just go ahead. Stop him from having any any love. Let's just end all love, shall we? Ooh, Crusadia power, brutal. Um. And he has that in the grave. Ugh. Um. But wait, if it's unaffected this turn, then he can... Fuck. Shitballs. Uh... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and activate this, why not? Then he has to use that. It was going to be lost either way, at least this way Diabolos doesn't die. I mean, he's going to beat over Diabolos either way, but at least he used more resources, hopefully, than he wanted to. And I can get rid of this and probably draw cards, because I don't think he's going to have very many spell cards in his hand. If you're unfamiliar, tribute one dark monster, draw two cards. Your opponent can negate this effect by revealing a spell card in their hand. Which seems kind of bad, but the thing is, most people are going to empty their hand first turn. Most people are going to play their spell cards immediately. Although, wait, did he just add that back to his hand? But why? He can only use once per turn. You should have added back a monster so you could OTK. Or searched another copy of it, because I don't have multiple monsters for you to fight against. I guess he already had enough monsters. Fuck. 
Well, at least this way I take less damage. He's going to be able to negate it. Yeah, I've been able to actually do this about 75% of the time, and not... But why? Why would you do that? You could just reveal a spell card and negate it. Did you not read it? <laughs> you would have done 6,100 damage. I mean, I'm dead anyway. Sadly, he just... Yep, they got... He had the uh, Crusadia power in his hand. At least with Crusadias, it's fast. Just the sad state of affairs. And I didn't get my lair. Not looking good so far, ladies and gentlemen. As, as always, whenever I'm losing, this did better in testing. A lot better in testing. I got like 70% win rate. Granted, probably not the best decks I was testing against. <laughs> Either way, there'll be replays. But hopefully, I, I should be able to get... Why did I mark that down as a win? Get, get out of there. Hopefully, I, I still believe I can get that 50%. It might start with three losses, but I'm going to get there. Just you wait and see. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Fourth duel. Brought to you thanks to Patreon sponsor, Striker with a Q. Nice guy. New guy. Still on here like a month later. Gotta give him 10 out of 10. Um, we're going first. We're against Big Joe. Biggest of the Joes. Will we get Ash Blossomed discarding this to get Lair? No, we will not. And we have traps to use with Lair, so it's all right. And also, Torrential Tribute, which doesn't need Lair. So even if he destroys this without destroying... Uh, or, yeah, even if he destroys this without summoning any kind of monster, we've still got some things we can do. Unless he destroys these two. Ooh, Amazonus. Straight out of Duel Links. Unfortunately, Spell Traps are hard for me to destroy. Normally, although actually now I'll have Ballista Squad, so it'll be all right. Uh, yep, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. That's fine, dot JPEG. I'm fine with being fine. You can attack me with all of two, three, thirty-two hundred. I'll take thirty-two hundred. I'll take thirty-two hundred every day of the week. I thought he had this so that maybe he could uh, Link Summon, but now he's putting this out, which is not something you want to Link Summon, unless there's some Amazon Link that I'm unfamiliar with. But I generally try to keep up with stuff that exists, even if I don't, like, read the newest cards, I'll still be like, oh, those are nice, those exist. Leviathan. That's a new one. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and do this. Get rid of everything. He'll summon out, what, Amazonist Queen, maybe? No, another spy for some reason. Okay. Ouch. Then he'll set his tarp. Yay. Aw, oh, two tarps! I ain't liking that. And then Layer of Darkness, but nothing was tributed. I could use this in the end phase to tribute stuff, but I'd rather have a token. Because I like tokens. Um, the thing is, I don't know which one is which, and I don't want to blind Allure. Um, although he only has one card in his hand. So let's see if we can draw a couple things, shall we? Get out of here. Get, get, get out of here. What do you think you did? Get, get out of here. You got a spell in your hand? No. Good. Um... The things I drew, not necessarily all that good, but we'll send Diabolos to the graveyard, we'll set a Reckless Greed, and then in the end phase, we'll get a danged old token, so at least we won't take another thousand damage. Eh. Token. It's a Torment token specifically. Look at those guys. So tormented. If I was that tormented, I don't think I'd be able to do YouTube. Ah, you expose yourself to me! And wait, I put a I put a danged old Diabolos into the grave. Well then, let's just go ahead and be like, nah, get out of here, destroy that. Thank you. Come again. Wait, onslaught has a does a target a level one Amazonist in your graveyard. Special summon it. 
And he chose the one that didn't have all the attack that he could have. I guess this one searches so he can just get another one. Alright, well that sucks a little bit, but... Oh, I think that's it. It just sucks a little bit. Just a le little suck. Why? Oh, discard... What? what? Send one other card, special summon on Amazon, directly from the deck. You play two of those? But why? That seems a silly one. It can't be destroyed by battle. That's fine, I'm not gonna destroy you by battle. What I really need is Lilith. Lilith, Lady of Lament, that would be cool. And you get a token. There you go. Enjoy it. It's a nice little token. That's not a Lilith, Lady of Lament. Uh... Going to be a little reckless. Just a little reckless. Okay, not great, but I still got more draw cards. Alright, uh, normal summon. Oof! Big oof! Oh, I could have done so much with that, and now, now I can do so little with that. I could have attributed his monster, and then I could have summoned Destrudo, and then I could have made... A samurai warrior and attacked over this and I wouldn't give a fuck about his trap, but now, now I'm in some troubles and I have more metaverses than I need. Um. And yeah, let's go ahead. We've got more than one metaverse, so we'll activate this one. Just to deck thin. Just add it to our hand. That way we have it for next time. Fortunately, I don't think he can still kill us this time, especially since I can tribute his things. Maybe he'll summon something else out of his hand, you know what I'm saying. Um, let's just go ahead... Um, send one other card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Monster from your deck. Okay, so let's stop from taking the most damage. He'll get another Torment token, but at least I'll get to draw some cards, hopefully. Fuck! Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. And the thing is solid or something. And he discarded it. I should have waited for him to attack with that. He would have discarded it probably anyway. Why didn't he fuse? He had two Amazonuses. Could have fused in the main phase. Gotten the big old Amazonus. Done some other things. Um... I feel like being reckless is gonna be... Yep. Needed spell trap removal. Fucking Destrudo in my hand every single time. Welp. I lost that far. Lost the fucking Amazonuses. Ooh. Got me salty, bro. Just a little bit. I shouldn't have lost Amazonus. Perhaps I was a little too reckless. Although it is weird. What is this? The second... Is this the second duel that I ended with Destrudo in my hand? Weird how these one-ofs keep getting into my hand where I don't want them to be. Granted, there's also... I, why wouldn't he have polymerizationed in main phase one and attacked with the bigger thing? Why are you activating anything at all? Uh, yep. I mean, you've already won... You could summon another thing, it wouldn't do anything, but you could summon it. Alright, fifth duel. We've got to start winning here somewhere. <laughs> Alright, fifth duel. Comeback of the century begins here, versus player. Going first, yet again. We're getting so many grinning grave viruses and so little nothing else. Uh, but that's fine. We're good. We'll put that out. Why is it waiting? How many hand traps you got, boy? You got a lot of hand traps, I'll tell you what. Let's just go ahead and summon this. Let's get rid of uh, these two, because they're kind of like first turn cards. Same with Bogusk. Uh, and this thing, which we almost never make. And I guess that guy. Why not? 
Banish five. Summon Eater of mil Millions. Eater of Million Lilies. That's that. That'll he'll need to at least do something to get around that. Some kind of monster removal. And I can grin and grave whatever he gets. So if he manages to get some sort of big thing or some kind of thing that things, I'll be able to hopefully get rid of it. Get the next turn. Actually do some stuff. Heat wave. Ah, oh, it's another big. Ugh. So so one of the weaknesses with this deck is that it's mainly about destroying your opponent's uh, monsters. Like, everything we have. This, this, not that necessarily, but Lair of Darkness, its whole thing is about getting rid of monsters. And I really leaned into it with this build, to just sort of like, I am going to stop you from having monsters ever, hopefully. Obviously, that hasn't been working out necessarily, but that's what it tries to do. I'm not playing any spell trap removal because I find that in a deck focused on destroying my opponent's monsters, having spell trap removal in a lot of decks has been bad. Especially again against things like Gokis, against things like uh there's there's a lot of like link spam decks right now. And it's just sort of been sad for me. The the thing is, I like, then you go up against a deck like this that is clearly just all about, uh, all about spell traps. They have a million traps, they have, uh, this thing that, that's all about, like, getting them more traps and summoning them tokens. And I'm not sure I can defeat it. In the side deck, I could get in some twin twisters, not twin, heavy storm dusters. And then once I have the heavy storm dusters, I can do some cool things. I can, or not cool things, once I get heavy, if I had heavy storm dusters, then I can take out all this stuff. No problem. But I just didn't run any in the main deck. And so, that yeah, just basically I'm at a huge disadvantage here. Not sure how I'm going to come back. Um, going to destroy my monster? I don't like that. Let's just go ahead. Uh, mm, uh, let's do one of these. Because then he won't be able to have any monsters. Granted, he can summon tokens and stuff. Which is going to suck. Yeah, and that's just a cost for activation. But at least he won't get a token at the end phase because this will be destroyed. But now he has nothing to attack with. Very little way to get around Eater of Mialians. Unless this lets him summon another token, I forget. Oh yeah, he gets in any card. Yep, that just lets him summon another token. Which lets him get another trap. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this one's lost. We'll be back if something happens. But I assume he's just going to be able to use all his traps to destroy everything that I love and hold dear. He's just going to out-resource me because I have no way to get rid of this or any of his back row, really. <laughs> oh, mm, ah. Reckless greed. I'm down to a thousand life points, so now I have no excuse not to be reckless. Sadly, this thing has really just kind of, like, googled my noodle, if you know what I mean. Every time I tribute one of his monsters, every t if you don't familiar with this, every time, uh, what was it? If your opponent activates a card or effect, and you control no tokens, you could special summon a token. And it activates after something resolves, so no matter if I destroy this with a card effect or tribute it, because I activated something, he just gets another one back, and I can't, I can't beat over it without Diabolos, and I haven't been able to get Diabolos. Fortunately, he just did that, so there's, that's good. Um... Let me see what I can do. I mean, I can I can do this. If I tribute that, he controls he controls a token. All right. He got rid of that, but I still did his thing. So now he can't summon any more monsters and he can't get that as long as he has a token. Um He's got this, though, at the start of a damage step of a water monster. Yeah, it's just... 
I have I have a couple things. I have like Ballista Squad that can take out stuff, but he had two more copies of this he already searched in his hand with like terraformings and stuff. Just negate my effect, go down. That's permanent, right? Yep, that's permanent. Just the say oh wait, no, it's not permanent. Okay, good. Yeah, my only real thing has been to hopefully grind him down, but I think he's going to be able to summon another monster at some point. Uh, yeah, and I know for a fact he's got spells in his hand, so he'll just negate this. So, yep, sadly, not going to do anything, but again, this is getting a lot of mismatches here. Our two, mis our two big mismatches, or, yeah, two big mismatches. Cards with a lot of spell traps, because we have no way to remove them. And zombie decks, because we, we screw them over. Um, so sadly, just not doing pretty good. But we're just going to roll over. Usually at the, the halfway point, I do a thing where I tell everyone about the Patreon and how you can join. But since I've lost every game so far, I don't think I've earned the right. Although you should know, if you want these sleeves, they're on the Patreon for a dollar. Made them myself. They're pretty cool looking, I'd like to think, with Diabolos there. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna roll on into the sixth duel, and hopefully things will be looking up for us then. <laughs> Alright, here we are, sixth duel, brought to you by Lord Patreon Supreme himself, Joe Average. Thanks to him down in the comments. I guess also those other two people, if you feel like it. I don't think many of them really put too much weight behind the, uh, the, the Patreon thanks. But, uh, you know, it, it uh, never hurts, never hurts. Um... Once again, geez, patience is a virtue, young man. How could you ever hope? Um, let's see, we'll do that. We'll go ahead and just make one of these. Um, hmm. Dope. What did I say was also a good starting card? That, 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 and there we go. Same as always. I rarely have cards to discard for the Nightmares. But, I mean, why not? Put this, maybe he'll be the person who mythically actually destroys the Waking of the Dragon. It's never happened yet, but if it did happen, that would be cool. This is Alan, one, two, three, four, D. I assume he wants to be die. But maybe. Hard to say. Ah, I see. Most impatient. Most impatient indeed, young sir. Um, okay, so normal summon. I contribute his face down monsters, right? Nope. <laughs> well then. At least I get a token. Oh, hey! Lilith! Glad to finally see her five duels in. She's only like the most important card in the deck. Still no idea what he's playing, but we're good. At least we got Eater of Millions and the token. Yeah, she has a quick effect. She can tribute a dark monster, including herself. Reveal three traps from the deck. Choose one of them to go... To your opponent randomly chooses one of them. It goes to your field. So she's like a clear, like, plus two. You, like, tribute off your opponent's monsters and then straight up, like, get a card. And you could do that every turn. Her and Leia are, like, amazing. And there are a lot of decks that just, like, turbo her out as soon as possible. Which is probably the better way to play this. But I think I mentioned again at the beginning, like, I have so many decks where it's just, like, uh, Card of Demise, Pot of Duality, two normal summoned monsters, and a bunch of cards you can set, go. And I feel like that's what a lot of layer decks are anyway, so I wanted to try to show off some spicier techs. Unfortunately, hasn't quite been working for me, I tell you what. So what viruses you got set? Uh, just Grinning Grave. Just the bad one. Uh, what is this guy again? Unaffected by other monsters, activated effects. Okay, I don't need to do that.
All right, get him up to 6,000. Or not. That's the wrong one. Okay. Now he's going to be up super high. Not my attack. I need that. What is he doing? Get himself 200 more attack. All right. Battle phase. I just, uh... Oh. Oh. Sadness. I thought I could tribute this. Oh, oh, I'm dumb. It has to be more... That can't be more than 3,000 attack. I should have done it immediately. I should have done it immediately, and I completely forgot it had that restriction, because I've never faced a deck with more than 3,000 attack. Okay, I'm dumb. I probably could have won that. That is completely my bad. That is completely me being a, a fuckwit, a mistake. Once again, Waking the Dragon, sitting on the field. Thanks to everyone who suggested I should play Waking the Dragon. <laughs> Granted, I could, I could have not listened to them. <laughs> All right, here we are, seventh duel versus Chaos Craft NG. Going first again. We got this guy. You can discard him to get Layer of Darkness, unless your opponent Ash Blossoms you, which he might just Ash Blossom us. No, no. Okay. Well then, now we've got a thing or two. We can't get Diabolos though, so that sucks. Uh, but we got this. This cool. It's got a lady of lament. She can lament being a lady. You know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and do that. We're not going to use her effect because it would just tribute her off. And we can tribute our opponent's monsters now. So it's actually good, assuming he doesn't instantly MST that. But even then, we could still tribute her off to prevent from taking as much damage and set some things in the back row, maybe. Hard to say, hard to leg. Looks like he's gotten some kind of pendulums. So maybe we can prevent his plays from being plays. Hopefully I won't make a mistake. Again, it's one of those like niche situations where it's like, Grinning Grave could tribute anything, unless it has more than 3,000 attack. And then I just forget about that restriction. A sad state of affairs, if ever there was one. But yeah, I could have, if I had just activated immediately, I would have been able to do stuff. But I wanted to, I was like, I'll let him waste all his spell traps first. Oof. Oof. Hopefully you guys in the comments don't mind too much. You understand that there are misplays. I can't play perfectly. And I'm not gonna just show you all my perfect duels and pretend that I'm some sort of shining god. Especially because then people will come to my Twitch and annoy the fuck out of me by being like, I beat Hardleg. People do that now, and I'm not even, like, a good duelist. And they do it under weird circumstances, too. I'm not sure if you've been to my Twitch stream. Most people are pretty nice. But every once in a while, you get these people who come in, and I'm like, I'm playing Layer of Darkness, and they play, like, a deck that has nothing but, like, four types of spell trap removal. And then they get excited when they beat me, and it's like, well, my deck's all spell traps. Of course you won. You just... You knew what I was playing, and you went in with something specifically that countered it. You'd have to be an idiot not to win in that case. Granted, by the same line, there are people who come in with stuff that clearly can't beat uh, Layer of Darkness. Who just want to, I guess, make me feel better about winning. That's one of those things I'm learning about testing on Twitch. I thought it would be a really cool thing, because everyone always wants to duel me. But, uh, trying to accomplish stuff while testing, not working out very well. This guy's playing around Lilith pretty good. Not sure. He has to get some kind of Link monster out if he wants to get more than one thing, unless he's got a bunch of stuff in his hand. The Link monster seems to be the thing that, like, that's what I'm going to get rid of, because then he can't get these other guys out of the extra deck. Either that or wait for him to get one big thing. Wait as long as I can, until he targets this, or until he goes into his battle phase. Once he goes into his battle phase, he's not going to be able to do a whole bunch of other shenanigans, except for in main phase 2, and by then, I'll have some things. Hopefully. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. We'll be back 
when uh, he when I finally activate an effect. <laughs> oh, Odd Eyes Fusion then. Hmm, very tricky. He had me worried there for a second because I was like, oh, he's gonna be able to negate my things, but uh, Lilith actually gets around a lot of negation. Ooh, using your entire hand. Getting one of those, that's going to bounce. Then I'm going to activate. The thing about tributing that makes it so brutal is that tributing is a cost. So you tribute off the cost first. Let's just go ahead and get these three, because those are probably the most useful. So even if, even if the effect is negated somehow, even if he leaves the field, or even if she leaves the field, like, you know, it, he's already been tributed off. He can't choose to negate it at that point because he's no longer on the field. Ooh, the Supreme Gates. Okay, so he can, he can summon something big out. He's going to try to rustle my jimmies, but he can only get one monster. No Electromite this turn. But I am probably going to be taking, mm, eh, I don't know, probably 3,000, maybe more. I forget what this effect is because it's not out in the TCG yet. It's one of those things I didn't look at. Must say, though, I, I was kind of worried going in. Although, again, when I went in, my original intention was, again, to do that thing where it's... Ooh, I didn't know these had an effect if you use them together. Pendulum Fusion. Fuck, I should have read that while it was up there. Can he activate that? Does that fuse from your... No, he doesn't have an extra monster zone. Okay, we're good. We're good for now. And actually, I could stop from taking that damage if and I wanted to. Uh, but I'm fine with taking the damage for now. Because I can inflict a whole bunch of damage to him next turn. Bada bingo. Give him a toke. Two tokes? Did two things get tributed? I thought I just tributed one thing. Alrighty then. So, um, yes, okay. Armageddon Knight, because we need to get Diabolos, because Diabolos is our biggest beater. Big beat out of ten. And then we're going to tribute off that to destroy that, so he can't do any more searching. Um... Let's go ahead and summon this, shall we? Boop, boop, boop. I don't think he's going to have a big field anymore. Boop, boop. Get that. Into this phase. Activate Jurigetto now. Then I can... Okay, so attack this. Oh, I can't banish it face down. I'm dumb. I forgot tokens can't go face down. Tokens can be banished, they just can't be banished face down. Alright, I could have done that better. But that's fine, we could still do more damage. It only would have been slightly more damage anyway. It wouldn't have been the OTK. Which you can do with this deck, if and you get the right hand. But normally it's reliant on clearing your opponent's field during their turn first, and then doing a bunch of stuff. And I've got two Liliths for next turn. Granted, I only really need one. Um, I could turn this into a Link Karibo, which is nice because it tributes itself when you attack, and then you can get out... Diabolos. But yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. When I when I first went into this deck, because I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but uh, I actually built three different decks uh, when, when, when I had my big deck building stream. I built a, lair, I built a King Tiger Stun 2018, first of all, uh, which, which actually worked about as well as this. <laughs> which is to say, not very well, but it did work. You could do things occasionally. Oh, he surrendered. Okay, we finally got one. 
And it was against Pendulums, no doubt. So at least, at least we got one win. Uh, but yeah, I, I made a King Tiger Stun. I made Artifacts 2018. And I made this. And uh, this worked the best out of the three of them. But it's obviously, like, kind... It, it still doesn't work great. And obviously, it's a little bit more closer to the meta than any of the other ones, which are just kind of like goofy troll decks. Um, but yeah, this this is the one they voted on, which kind of surprised me. Which is, you know, if you don't like this deck, if you would have preferred to see King Tiger, another reason to join the Patreon or come to the streams, because then you can help decide things like that. But I was, uh... You know what, I'll explain in the next duel. I'll explain my thoughts in the next duel. We'll have some dueling action while I talk. <laughs> Alright, eighth duel brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Smash! The most smashing of all patrons who smashes the record books. We're up against Artorius, probably some kind of noble knight thing. We've already got Metaverse, so we don't actually have to discard for this. We could save that for next turn. Instead, we're going to put out Eater of Millions, because that'll be slightly difficult to deal with. <coughs> Pardon me. Again, get rid of all our first turn plays. We've got a lot of cards that are just like, if you open with Armageddon Knight, um, and you can't make use of Diabolus, or you already have Diabolus, you can send uh, Destrudo and make a level, level 7 Synchro that can perhaps help you out. So instead of we're going for this, he has no idea what we're going to play. <coughs> at least at this point. But we have potential to ruin his day once he gets a couple things on the field. <coughs> oh, hard me coughs. But yeah, I was gonna say it when when I when the patrons first picked this deck, I was a little worried because I was like, "Ah, eh, this deck is really like kind of linear." Again, it's another like set five pass. Uh, but I've been surprised with how many like choices you have to make, choosing whether or not to like take damage or whether or not you're going to activate something on their turn to disrupt them, or try to wait till your turn so that you get the tokens. Oh, hey, Sylvans. That's pretty neat. There's there's a lot more choices in this deck. It's not as much of a uh, helmet-style deck as I thought it was. So it was at least... It's at least been fun to play. And d despite how it looks on here, where I've gotten predominantly losses... Um... What does this do when it's sent to the graveyard? Click the top three and place them in any order. Okay. Uh, that's when we're going to activate Metaverse. Nope. And now he's probably like, ah, fuck, ah, shit, ah, poop nuggets, ah, scoopity doopity. And then he gets to look at the top three, and then I'm just gonna be like, uh, tribute this to destroy this. No field for you. You've already used your normal summon. Hopefully you can't do more. And I completely forgot what a- Slash draw? Okay. For a second I was worried. I thought he had stacked slash draw on top of things. I tried to make a slash draw turbo deck. It didn't work. I've been thinking about, with, with how many decks that I discard now because I can't use them, or because they don't make the cut, I've been thinking of making a, a, a separate thing where I just do like a deck profile of like, goofy decks that I haven't tested, or that I've tested and like, don't work very well, but are still kinda neat, and still kinda work. You'll have to comment in the comments if you'd be interested in something like that. Mark of the Rose! Okay, stealing my guy. Does he play Link Karibo? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, he's just attacking. That's fine. I'm okay with this. He takes that each turn during his... Okay, then he makes Link Karibo with it. 500 is more than less than 500. What? And then he's got Mount Sylvania. Take a token. Alright, okay. So, we're going to normal summon this dude, and then he contribute a card to draw a card. I'll just get rid of that. Um, search a monster with 2,000 or more defense instead. Yeah, let's go ahead. Because we've already got this. We've got some things. Um, maybe I can actually do this now. So, activate this. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Attack over. Attack over. 
tribute to make this 2700. Summon this guy. Can't be targeted. Does a lot of damage. Lots of damage. I'm trying to remember, I know I've OTK'd before. Maybe I had a much more specific hand than I thought I did. Two tokens, because I attributed two cards. But then he gets to do a Sylvania thing, I believe. So we're looking pretty good. Pretty solid. Pretty set. Oh, he's gonna keep... Okay. So I know he has the one spell card. Again, the... the, the part of the reason I play something like this is because, again, it's, it's always active. Whatever he summons with that, I'm going to be able to tribute it off. Whatever it may be. I can, it, it's monster removal. At worst, it's a zero, it's a zero. It could be a plus two if he doesn't have a spell in his hand. And from the looks of sending those spells back, he likely doesn't have a spell in his hand. Well, there's Monster Reborn, so now it's really hard to say. Pretty much just wait for him to go through his plays. Wait for him to make something big, and then we'll tribute it off. What did he just ditch? Another Hermitry? We'll see. We'll be back. We'll be back when I activate a thing. A lot of this deck is deciding when to activate things. <clears throat> hmm. Target one plant card on the field, destroyed, and if you do, okay. So, I'm going to assume right now that that is not a spell. Well, no, let's let him go. He can shuffle his hand around, but I still assume that he's going to be using all the spells he has before he does anything. We'll wait until he goes into the battle phase, or until he makes, like, a big monster, and then we'll tribute it off. Can't be too hasty. I've been too reckless this time. I think it's because these sleeves, I see all the red, and I just want to, like, attack and go forward and be aggressive. Be aggressive. But this this is really a thinking man's kind of deck. You gotta be, you gotta be cautious. Got to be careful and really allocate your resources. Because again, you got to assume that this is going to be a, a an even trade. Your life point is higher. Okay. Um, when this is normal, excavated. If it is plant, okay. Okay. Now is when I want to activate it, and. Let's see, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. You can tribute one monster this card points to a special summon a plant from your deck in defense position. So, I know what this tree is. This could be anything. So, let's get rid of this and hope he has no spells. Okay, there's at least one that's not a spell. Do you has? Yes. And it's another slash draw. Hello, darkness, my old friend. But he has a 7 and an 8. He can't can't make any kind of ixy play. He can't beat over this yet. There's another slash draw. Putting on the bottom of his deck. He can't get over this either. He can crash into it, which might be good. Link summon this. Okay, but that has to target. And you can't target this, so he can target that. Which means I'm going to take 2,700. But I get to keep these two, which means I can make a Apprentice Witchling. That'll give me more attack, and then when he destroys it, I'll get this back, and I can do other... I can get Lair back if I want to. Which I might want to. Let's just go ahead for these... This is not a quick effect, right? No, this is not a quick effect. Okay. Um. Kill this. Take some damage, please. Kill this. Take more damage, please. Main phase two. Set Torrential Tribute. Ooh, Spore. So now he can do even more things. Do more now with Spore. Yeah, we'll be back when he's done doing stuff. He's got to... Oh, he didn't go through all of his lone fires. Interesting. 
But yeah, Torrential, good card to set right off the bat, and especially good with Lilith because you can search it. More importantly, because we're getting near the end of the game and I haven't uh, explained it yet, why the big, biggest reason we play the one of Waking the Dragon is because when you get Lilith, what you can do is, or what you do is you reveal three cards, your opponent picks one, set one on your side of the field, and uh, the rest go back into the deck. So you can reveal two Torrential Tributes and one Waking the Dragon. And it's like, okay, well... If it is Waking the Dragon, then they don't want to destroy it. But if it's Torrential Tribute, they do want to destroy it. And uh, looks like he's just going for Stallfest, the movie, the game. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get Jurigetto out here. Um, yep. Let's go ahead. Get rid of that. Make sure that goes to zero more than these other two of these guys are big boys. Um, uh, I believe you can only use that once per turn, right? Um, change that opponent's monster's attack to zero if this card is in your graveyard. You can only use this effect of Link Karibo once per turn. Um... Yeah, we're good. Okay, so then attack with this one. Nope, and then attack with that one. Okay, so he managed to stall for a turn. Good job. He's Stallmaster Supreme. He is running out of cards in his deck. He has put up a good fight for Sylvan's. If he slash draws me, I'm going to be the saltiest sailor who ever sailed the sea seven salty seas. Um, it's got four, okay. Okay, good, thank the lord. But now he can shuffle things back into his deck. But with the level seven in his hand, I don't think he can do much. So I might have won. One Duel Link's deck down, although I lost to Amazanis. Oh, wait, no, Rose Lover can summon this. All right. We're getting close with that Slash Dre. Uh, no? I'm going to say no. How about that? Okay, and he surrendered. Some more Torius. So we get two wins. This will not go down as the worst what a deck in history. I'm hoping we can steamroll two more wins. <coughs> Comment in the comments if you believe. Or if you don't believe. You know, that's fine too. I'm not really all that picky. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Ninth duel versus absolute chance. And it's more 60 card zombies, isn't it? Isn't it? Admit it. Admit you're a zombie deck. I want to hear you. Oh, it's heroes. Well, I stand corrected. Excuse me. <laughs> Maybe it's hero zombies. Um, we've got both our Diabolos in our hand, which is not the goodest. Neither was that sentence, but we could still do some things. I mean, we can make a we can make a level seven synchro for half our life points. Maybe Black Rose just blow up the whole field. Just pull a mad stand, blow it all up. Uh oh, Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. That, that, that's the universal symbol for we about to try an extra link, boyos. So I might not, I was like, I can break the extra link with the black rose. And then I remembered what an extra link is. That, uh, the whole, the whole conceit of it is that you can't, uh, can't summon from the extra deck. So yeah, this may be some combos coming in here. Uh, hard to say, hard to leg. Either way, I mean, we've got, we've got Eater of Millions, that can do stuff, right? It depends what he builds, and how he builds it. Oh, he's actually using Disc Commander. Neato. Can't use it this turn, but at least he got... Okay. And so it begins, the great extra linking of our time. Joe, go ahead and fast forward this. People can see all the things... Ah, firewall! I got a firewall. Yep, now it really begins. Okay, fast forward this. Let's let people see how long it lasts. 
Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kinda dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of a nail on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. And all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. It's a cool place, and they say it gets colder. You're bundled up now, wait till you get older. Well, the media man begs to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. The ice we skate is getting pretty thin. Water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. World's on fire, how about yours? That's the way- Oh, God! It ended! What? It ended? I thought I would have forever! <laughs> I just started making a sandwich. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, you cannot special summon monsters except for Link monsters. Hey, I can do that though. Probably. Let's see, Firewall bounces it. Oh. Okay, well, those are dead. Um, got a light, got dark, got more dark. Uh, mm, eh, mm, eh, mm, eh. Let's go ahead. Let's make this guy. And we'll go ahead and blow up a, a thing. Eh, mm, ooh. Yeah, we already used our normal summon. Let's get rid of this. So I can hopefully do a thing. That would be cool if I could do a thing. Please. 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 May I do a thing? Do 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 do. I would like to do a thing. Can I do a thing? Do 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 do. And then he gets to recur. He went through like a lot. Half of. More than half of his extra deck. That's a lot of damage. And he gets a quick play back. He's just going to make another one. Um, can I? Can I? Can I summon more than one of these each turn? Might be able to do that. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that'll work. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can get two of them, um, and I can't, I can't go back on that now. Okay, well, problems were made, that's fine. One, two, uh, three, uh, four, five, yeah, that'll work. Double, double trouble. One of them is going to be a problem for you. I'm going to get rid of your firewall, and then you're not going to be able to do firewall things. And I believe you can only send back one. Unless you've got a mirror force. So at least one problem solved, am I right? Um... Can only use one elemental shadow mist. Okay, so if I use that on that, then he's not going to be able to do it. Alright, and then the question is... I've got four left. <laughs> I could get rid of my entire extra deck and something in my hand. Get Link Karibo. I'm not sure he could get around that if I summoned it. The problem is, 
if he gets rid of Link Karibo before I do stuff, I think this would be better. Because otherwise Link Karibo is not useful. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this out. Hopefully if I can top deck an Arima, uh, a Lilith, assuming I can survive. Hopefully he doesn't have a ton of removal. Granted, he might have a ton of removal. Oh, nice. Can you can you put back one of my banished cards? Two. Oh, it's too late. Sad. <laughs> Can't help a brother out. <laughs> I don't have enough in my extra deck to do things. Okay, well, I guess we're going to fast forward. If I had, if I didn't use all of All-Star, if I used something else, we can use the rest of it there. We'll be back again. Let's find a rock. I mean a big-ass rock. Or maybe something like a cinder block is better. I'll hoist it up and drop it on your face, my buddy. And just before the lights go out, You'll see my smile and you'll know you've got a friend with a rock. Who cares? I mean a big ass rock or rope. I've got some quality rope made for a man that's devoid of hope like you are. Well, that's sad. Alexa, play Despacito, please. The slow version. The one that's like 10 beats per minute that like is so sad. Wouldn't he have done more damage? No, he would have been slightly less. I think I'll still survive, so if I can top deck the perfect top deck, then perhaps I can do something. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything. Also, I realize no matter what I did, I wouldn't be able to, uh, I wouldn't be able to have summoned Link Karibo because this thing doesn't have any down arrows. What? Oh, goes in defense. Ah, oh, and then he mask changes it. All right, well, there's another loss, but you can't really blame me for that one. Anything that can make, like, a million Link monsters in one turn, you, probably not much I was going to be able to do against that. He had all sorts. He had a firewall. He had a boral load. He had this guy with quick effects. He had mass loss, so I couldn't even graveyard when I wanted the graveyard. And also, I started with two of these and two Eater of Millions. Granted, those ended up working for me, but yeah, either way, last duel. <laughs> all right, here we are. Tenth duel brought to you by Patreon sponsor Chris W. Good old fan from Hong Kong. Sends us Japanese cards. Doesn't afraid of anything is not afraid of anything. Um, let's see here. We've already got Lair, and we've got Metaverse. Well, we've got very little to tribute. Although we do have got Jura Ghetto, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna try for this. Hopefully we can get the Jura Ghetto pass off. Hopefully this'll spook him. Hopefully that'll spook him. Hopefully he'll just be Spookums the Clown over here doing all sorts of things. Probably not best to rely on your opponent getting spooked. The alternative play was that we normal summon this, tribute itself off, get a trap that we can use, but then if he has any sort of spell trap removal, we're kind of doomed. Um, and it's some kind of link cyber link thing. Fuck. Uh, that might be able to boost up enough attack to get over Darkest Diabolos. And again, we've got another, we got another long turn ahead of us. But I don't think, they're not really known for their destruction or their spell trap removal, so I might be able to just destroy whatever he ends up getting next turn, assuming he doesn't OTK me, which I don't think he should be able to. Between Jurigetto and this, uh, I should be able to, 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 to survive until next turn, and then I can just tribute off his things and start getting spell traps with Lilith. So, we'll see. We'll be back once he's done getting all the things that he needs to do. He's got combos galore. Not gonna fast forward this time though, because these are probably not that interesting of combos. Okay, he's got some bigger things than us. Gotta pay attention to what exactly he's attacking with. This was Xcode Talker. So he's attacking with the least first. Um 
And that would be 63, so I'm going to be really close. Um, let's see. Any damage you take is half. While you control a link monster, monsters your opponent cannot target for attacks, except this one. Also, your opponent cannot target monsters you control with card effects, except this one. If this card battles a link monster, it gains a thousand attack. Okay. So yeah, okay. Do that. Oh wait, I can't tribute this off now. Um... Yeah, we're just going to take it. We're going to be dangerously low on life points. We're going to be Chester Cheetah here. We're going to be dangerously cheesy. And hope he can't burn us for like 500. What did he tribute? When did he tribute it? Okay. So, Lilith. Hello? What's giving everything so much attack? Um... Monsters this card points to gains 500. Okay, so we're going to break the link up. Boop. So that helps. We're going to get the things that we need to get. And we're going to get them the way that we get them. Uh, let's see. Battle phase. Yes. So, activate this. Um, let's see. While you control ma Link Monster, monsters your opponent cannot control except for this one. So we can only attack that. Uh, activate. Because I can't attack these littler ones anyway. Diabolos comes out. Hey, what's up? So then I can destroy this. And then I can... Not destroy that, but I can at least get rid of Backup Secretary so he has less things. And then to make sure I don't get like... oh, Because like, any damage over 3,000 is just going to annihilate me. So I'm going to go ahead and use this effect on Lilith. Make him put one of those cards on top or bottom of his deck. So the only thing he can do is attack me through 3,000. Well, I'm going to have a bunch of defense mode tokens, too. Um, and I can tribute to destroy. Okay. So end phase. Boom. And boom. And boom. All sorts of tokens. He's got a big defense wall. I just got to hope he can't, like, burn me for, like, 1,000 or 1,300. That would suck. Or maybe you can make a Utopia the Lightning-topia. Uh, you can just... Okay. So he's got that. He's up over 3,300. Battle phase? I'd like to see a battle phase, please. Battle phase for 100? Battle phase for 2,000? Cyber is a gadget. When this is normal, especially summon. Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting until his plays are done, and then I'm going to try to destroy anything that can get over this boy, because this is the biggest boy I have, and if they can get over that, then they can get over everything I love. And I love the things that I love, guys. I'm not sure if you know that. I'm not sure if you know how English works, but the true words are true when they're true. I've been here for a long time. <laughs> I tend to get a little batty when it gets towards the end of the duels, which is a pity. I should probably be batty at the beginning of the duels, because that's when it's the most interesting. Monsters, this card points to gains 500. Okay. So I need to, like, tribute this. Uh, must first be... You could target one monster you could put with higher attack than this card. Okay. And he got rid of it. Okay. Doing some things. Doing some stuff. Flame Administrator is like the least thing I need to. Uh, monsters, this. They cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay, so I can't destroy these. I have to tribute one of these two and destroy this. Hopefully. Just go into the battle phase. Just go into the battle phase. If you would go... He's not going into the battle phase. 
He keeps making things, and it makes me sad. Target one monster on the field and negate its effects until the end of this turn. Uh, you can tribute a card this card points to, and it becomes double. Okay, so... Need to make sure that doesn't point to anything, so... Tribute this, destroy this. Battle damage. And I think I've won, ladies and gentlemen. Finally! I finally did something on the tenth duel that looks a little impressive and actually does some stuff. Where I go to- Oh no, he's still doing things! Fuck. Fuck shit fuck. Holy goof tubles. Two tokens. Plus he's gonna get a third token. Cause I'm gonna give him a token. Unless I could use Metaverse. Um... While this card was face up. Yeah, we'll just give him one token. Surely that won't result in my doom, right? Sh surely. Ooh, hmm. Two attack, two attack, two attack. Um. Normal summon. Yes. Yes, I think I will. We're going to send. Oh, I can't tribute anything. Because he doesn't have any cards in his hand. All right, that's fine. We'll do this. Um, dark monsters gain more attack. Hey ho, he has dark monsters too. Um, level seven. Um, what can make? What should make? So many options on what should, can, make. Uh, tribute one monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the tribute monster's level times 200. Okay, so I can tribute off his tokens. Correct? I hope so. I'm going to hope so. And then I can do a lot of damage. Yes, I can tribute off his tokens. 800 damage. Uh, and then... This destroys this. This destroys that. 3,000... Plus 3,500... And I get the win, boyos, with 650 life points left. <coughs> oh, we may not have done very many wins, but at least we got some wins. And you know the rest of them, they'll, they'll, they'll be in the, the replay video, which, if you're watching this today, it comes out, it'll be out tomorrow. If you're watching this any day but the Saturday it comes out, it's already out. It's probably linked in the description or something, so you can check that out. I'll see you on the end screen. <laughs> So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Lair of Diabolos Turbo. We went 3-7, and seven, which is kind of a shame. I really feel like this is at least like a 5-5 five and five kind of deck, maybe even a 6-5. It's not perfect by any means, but to be fair, we did go against a, quite a few mismatches. We had some decks where we really needed our heavy storm dusters, and I just decided to main other things. We had a couple decks where Grinning Grave Virus was just absolutely useless, Again, I think it's a little underrated, but probably should have went with Dark Light after all. And of course, the Waking the Dragon tech that we played, that we only played one of, that somehow ended up dead on our field, what, like, five out of the ten duels? Just crazy. Probably want to take this out, maybe just put in another Torrential Tribute, just more destruction. Uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. I felt like I had a pretty fun time despite losing a bunch. Uh, very few times when I felt just completely overrun. This deck always kind of has a chance. It's a fun little rogue deck. It's just broken enough that it can be broken in certain situations while still being so combo-reliant and so ubiquitous that people kind of know how to play around it. Uh, next week, hopefully, I'll be trying out something a little bit more powerful. Uh, I'm thinking of looking at something that, that got more support recently, either Chaos Max or Cyber Dragons. Uh, but who knows? A lot of these things end up developing quite differently than how I expected. 
Either way, until next time, good luck and have fun. <laughs>